Hey everybody, it's Luke Winslow King here with Strings by Mail. I'm back for another segment here. Uh, this one I want to talk a little bit about basic finger style guitar technique. So basically focusing on the right hand um, and some different basic finger patterns that you can learn um, to get going on your finger style guitar. So I want to start by just um, fingering a, a C chord with your left hand. The, the chord diagram is up on your screen if you, if you don't know a C chord. It's right there, one of the most simple and rudimentary chords uh, you can play on the guitar. And then I want to focus on just the inside four strings. Okay, so you're not going to worry about your high or your low E at this point. You're just going to focus on these inner four strings. And um, I'm just using a regular Dunlop thumb pick. Um, you can buy these in strings by mail, and um, it's not necessary. I, I can take it off and do it just the same. Um, and it doesn't really matter if you have the pick, but sometimes it's nice to get a little articulation. Particularly, I like to use a thumb pick because you can play finger style, but then you can also pick just like you would with a regular plectrum by putting your finger against the other side. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, but back to this finger style technique, you have your inner four strings, and here's the pattern I want you to learn. Here's the, we're going to call this thumb, or your number one finger. This finger, we're going to call number two, and this middle finger, number three. So I'm just going to say thumb, three, thumb, two. Thumb, three, thumb, two. And that's the most simple pattern you can do. The only thing is, my thumb is alternating between the A and the D string. Thumb, three, thumb, two. That's the basic core of what's called the Travis pattern, Travis picking. So once you have that, the best thing you could do is sit and do it for hours while you're watching TV, while you're having conversations with friends. Just learn how to tune, tune out and get your muscle memory to memorize that pattern. So just sit there, thumb three, thumb two, and just get, drill that into your mind. Once you have that down, the next thing you want to do is start to include some of the, um, the strings on either side of that chord. So what I do is I take that pattern, and when I get to my three, my middle finger, I'm going to opt out of this string and add the string on top like this. So you're extending your melody. You can start to add other notes and stuff, but for now, we're just going to add that one string into the pattern. And now once you have that, then I want to add in your low string, your low E string to the pattern too. And what I do when I do that is I have my C chord, but I'm just going to add this G note um, as the bass note of my C chord. So I'm going to alternate the bass going like this. So I'm alternating between my A and E string and moving that finger to do the bass pattern. And once you have that, you can kind of spread out and do both. And once you learn this, this pattern, the best thing to learn is that this is just a basic core technique, but you're always going to extend the techniques and learn, bring in different melodies, bring in different walk-ups, and you're going to encounter a million exceptions. But this is a, just a good way to get started to have a basic core of your fingerstyle technique. So here I can kind of add... Now I'm adding up both E strings. And now say I want to play a melody of a song and I cannot add it in there. There's an F chord back to a C. Using the same finger pattern, I added a D chord and a G chord. But my right hand pattern is kind of staying the same even though my chords are changing. Keep in mind there's a million exceptions and a million different ways to do this, but this is just a chord pattern. You have little walk-ups like that you might add and different things to be, you can be creative, you can add different melodies, you can learn how to play any song with that, with that approach. Um, once you have that down, there's a few other more simple techniques that you might want to try. Um, like for a waltz pattern, for instance, I might play the bass note and then strum the strings. I'm just kind of raking with the outside of my finger here, so... Just alternating with my thumb, the bass note, the chord. Super simple, most easy waltz pattern you can play. That same technique, but in 4-4, four, four, I always called the Carter family technique, which is a, a popular country style, and that sounds like this. So I'm doing that same 
doing finger rake and I'm just kind of doing my walk-ups with my bass and with my thumb. Um, and there's you know a million different techniques that you can learn for finger style, but this is just a good core way of starting. Um, so in this video I covered some basic finger style techniques, the Travis picking, thumb three, thumb two being the most core pattern, um, and then working in other strings and other chords and exploring different melodies, um, but just you know learning to be comfortable with our right hand and, and basic finger picking techniques. I'm Luke Winslow King here with Strings by Mail. Thanks for tuning in.